Hey guys, it's Eric from LED Grow Lights Depot. I have the new HLG Blackbird here, ideal for a 4x4 grow space. This fixture was released in December of 2021. Stay tuned for a deep dive into this fixture along with my final thoughts. I'll also compare this light to the Scorpion Diablo and Scorpion R spec. Let's do this. The HLG Blackbird measures just over 2 feet by 2 feet, or more precisely, 26 by 26.75 by 2.75 inches, with a weight of about 17.5 pounds. Like the other Scorpion lights, the Blackbird features 6 quantum boards spaced apart to provide even coverage over the grow space. The other side of the anodized aluminum heatsink contains a 600 watt Inventronics driver and an external dimmer, dimmable to about 20% intensity or around 100 watts. The fixture can be hung up with the included wire hangers in tents or in grow rooms. At the time of this review, the fixture is not ETL certified, so it's not recommended for commercial grows. However, the ETL listing will come soon. The total light output of the Blackbird is reported by HLG at 1,465 micromoles per second with an efficacy of 2.57 micromoles per joule. The Blackbird is designed to flower a 4x4 area at 18 to 24 inches or about a 6x6 area for veg at about 30 inches. The Blackbird draws 600 watts at the wall according to HLG. When I measured this grow light's water draw at the wall at 115.1 volts, I received a reading of 581 watts with an amperage of 5.07. Expect around 2.5 amps on 240 volts. The light is rated for 120 volts, 240 volts, and 277 volt applications. The plug is available as a NEMA 515 120 volt and NEMA 615 240 volt, or as an EU, UK, or AU style plug. Expect a heat output of 2050 BTUs per hour from this fixture, or about 40% less heat than a 1000 watt HPS. The light is assembled in the USA, just like HLG's other fixtures, and it comes with a three-year manufacturer's warranty. The HLG Blackbird uses Horticulture Lighting Group's new full-spectrum QB200 quantum boards. These QB200s contain Samsung 301H and Osram Oslin SSL 660nm deep reds. The QB200 spectrum contains a higher bump in red and blue compared to the QB288 R spec spectrum. There are not any UV diodes incorporated into the boards, but there is some far red in the spectrum from the white diodes. The spectrum can be used for seedling to harvest growth, and we recommend using the dimmer to dim the light down for seedlings, clones, and veg, and then turning up the intensity for flowering. I took PPFD readings of the fixture at full power in a 4x4 Gorilla Grow tent at a few different distances. Based on these measurements, I'd recommend hanging the light at around 12 to 18 inches. Expect lower readings outside of a tent or reflective walls or in a 5x5 area. If you want higher PAR readings than what will be shown, you can use this light in an area smaller than a 4x4. Here are my PAR readings. And our first readings at 36 inches. Right in the middle, 725 PPFD. To the back, about 600. And into the corners, about 550 and this other side just under 600. So 36 inches is not recommended for flowering. However, it shows you the penetration you'd be getting at 36 inches above your plants. And it's also showing you the uniformity. So pretty good uniformity overall. And the next readings at 24 inches where we're getting just over 1000 PPFD to the back you can see the uniformity dropping about 770 and into the corner about 580 and this other side it's about 650 so 24 inches great distance for flowering you can see the uniformity drops as I move it around but right underneath the light you know you're getting about 900 1000 ppfd to the sides, you know, it's dropping to right around 800 or so. And this last reading's at 18 inches, about 1250 in the middle. You can see that uniformity holds pretty good until we get to the edge there and to the corner and this other edge. So 18 inches, great intensity underneath the light. It's just when you start to get towards the edges, it's dropping off a bit. Based off these readings, 18 inches is gonna be the closest that you wanna hang the light. 
The HLG Blackbird is another great light by Horticulture Lighting Group. The light output is perfect for a 4x4 and the spacing of the quantum boards on the fixture allows for even intensity over the canopy. By comparing the Blackbird to the Scorpion Diablo and Scorpion R-Spec, I'll be able to put this fixture into context a little bit better. Here you can see the lights listed from lowest to highest light output. The first thing that I want to point out that's not listed below is that the Blackbird is about 26 inches square, while the R-Spec and Diablo are about 36 inches square, so the Blackbird is a smaller fixture. The Blackbird and Scorpion R-Spec draw the same amount of wattage and therefore put out the same amount of heat. The R-Spec puts out about 7.5 more light and is 2% more efficient. Both of these lights would sufficiently flower a 4x4 area. At this time, the R-Spec is $200 or 20% more expensive. The Diablo is the same size as the R-Spec. It draws 50 more watts, so puts out 7-8% to more heat than both the R-Spec and Blackbird. Compared to the Blackbird, the Diablo beams out over 31% more light and is 20% more efficient and covers a 5x5 area. You would also pay $500 more for the Diablo, but it also comes with a 5-year warranty. So, the specs besides the fixture size on the Blackbird and R-Spec are very similar, but the Blackbird is less expensive. So depending on your budget and size area you want to cover, I'd recommend the Blackbird for a 4x4 area and the Diablo for a 5x5 area. The Scorpion R-Spec would be my recommendation if you want more even coverage over a 4x4 area or want to flower a 5x5 area with less light, otherwise the Blackbird beats the Scorpion R-Spec as a better bang for your buck. The QB200 Spectrum contains the largest bump in 660nm red compared to the R-Spec and Diablo Spectrum. HLG might have done this to increase the efficiency on the boards. While I thought the Blackbird was awesome overall, I like to see HLG bump up the light output and efficiency on the QB200s in the near future, but right now I can understand why these boards are not as efficient as the QB288s and QB648 Diablos. It's that the lower diode count on the QB200s compared to these other boards lowers the efficiency and light output. Packing more diodes into a board increases the board cost and would lead to a more expensive fixture. So to sum this up, I think HLG found a good balance between the price and performance on this light fixture and I know growers will enjoy it. There's a link to the Blackbird product page in the description to purchase the light. And let me know what you think about this light in the comments below. Support this channel by liking this video and subscribing if you want to see more content like this. And follow us on Instagram at LED Grow Lights Depot for LED Grow Light giveaways, sales, and more. We give away lights often, so check us out there. Link below. See you later.